Fans of horse racing are the beneficiaries of the selfless efforts of thoroughbreds. But when these equine athletes' careers are over and the roar of the crowd can no longer be heard, many are literally left homeless. In 1982, the Thoroughbred Retirement Foundation was formed with a simple mission, to save ex-racehorses from possible neglect, abuse, and slaughter. Shortly thereafter, the foundation found an unlikely savior to provide shelter for these veterans of the racetrack, prisons, where inmates are taught equine care and management. They can't feed them too much, they gain too much weight, they gonna have a problem. Try to feed them less grain. Some of them eat special grain, some of them eat sweet grain, some of them regular, or you just mix it for some of the horses. The horses have a tremendous benefit. We get horses that have been out and riding and have some kind of injury that needs some kind of therapy. Horses that have been starved, we take them right off feedlots where they've been fattened up for slaughter and save them and hopefully get all their lamenesses straightened out. We're very successful doing that. We come every morning. First thing we do, we feed them and uh, we water them. If they're sick, we give them shots and everything. And we we wash them real good. We, uh, we take care of the horses. Other thing in the afternoon, we'll give a little something to bring that swelling down. While the horses are desperately in need of care and attention, so too are their handlers. We're looking for any program that changes behavior. The ultimate goal is to reduce recidivism, change it the way a guy thinks, and make him a productive member of society so he doesn't return to prison. Some of the inmates change right away when they first come out here. They have this initial fear for the size of the animals, and you can see the change in three to four weeks. Most of them take three to four months before they start to get over that initial fear. It's funny to watch. The bigger, tougher guys that are used to intimidating people are the ones that make the biggest change. They, they just mellow right out. They start communicating. They don't. They don't get as uh, pushy when they're around other inmates. It's, it's a great thing to watch. I was a little scared at first, but uh, I slowly started going in and feeding them and learning more about them closer, hands-on, and I got used to them. I kind of made a mess of my life, and uh, it gives me a chance to uh, uh, work with animals, learn something new. Um, gives me an opportunity to learn a new trade. Um, you learn empathy really, um, really quick down here when you see horses that are hurt and uh, giving care to animals and it's really kind of emotional. This is Bry. His name is Bry. I have watched a transition. The emotional side of this is just phenomenal. I mean, you cannot believe that these grown men, they're in prison, you know, they're big and tough, cry when they leave here. It just, it shows that, you know, these horses do grab their heart. They gave me a chance, like, to rehabilitate my life. And I'm grateful for that. And I love being around them. I'm way more responsible um, as, as far as, as, as far as anything goes out, you know, I'm, I'm way more responsible. It teaches you how to be uh, responsible seven days a week. It really kind of wakes you up to uh, what your responsibility is in life, you know, and, and uh, be able to take that back with you, you know, with your family and your kids and, you know, loved ones and your job, you know, give you a good work, work ethic. Soon I'll be, be, be discharged from here, and hopefully someday in the future I might go to uh, some horse uh, stable to work with the horses. During their careers, these past legends of the racetrack touched thousands of lives with their heroics on the turf. But now, in retirement, their impact is even more profound, providing hope and inspiration to men searching for a second chance in life. makes me see what I lost 
and it'll never happen again. <laughs> I ain't losing nothing ever again. This is my first time in prison, my last time in prison. I love it here. I'm not ready to go home, and I leave Wednesday, so <laughs> Monday, Monday's my last day here, and, and I'm not looking forward to leaving the horses. You know? uh, 